Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 4256 in Candy Crush Saga. And if you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. So here we've got 22 moves to clear out 80 jelly, and it feels like the jelly is all contained here. And it feels like I can kind of ignore this part of the board, and just, ooh, and there's a stripe dispenser. And so try to focus on this center area. The more licorice I remove, the better things will go for me if I'm able to manage stripes in here. If I can get stripes. Although wrapped would be so much better, wouldn't it? And then I kind of want to get this stripe machine going, but it seems difficult to reach the top there. Uh, and I'm not saying I won't take these things out. I'm saying that's not where my main focus is going to be. My main focus is going to be towards the center, unless there's a really good reason not to. Like this, clearing out what's there. Oh, this is so hard because I don't like the moves I have. Not helpful. There, I like that one a bit better. I'm trying to reach upward. Not working. Okay, here, we can reach more towards the center now. Just kind of have to take it as it comes. More towards the center. Uh, I'm glad I finally got a reshuffle. I felt like that should have come a while ago there. More towards the center. Oh, six moves left. That's not so good. Let's move that blue. Gosh. Okay, so that didn't work so well. Maybe I need to try to go... Here's the thing. I've been focusing more on kind of top center to try to get that uh, stripe dispenser activated. I think that's the wrong choice. I still think it's right not to pursue this. 33 jelly left. What I'm going to try to do is break this up and come down here and then use maybe some combos because it's harder to get to that top spot. Gravity helps us with the lower stuff. Again, a lot of this is going to be based on luck because we are very restricted. But look at that. I'm getting this open. Here we go. Hitting the center. Trying to stay on one side if I can. Hard to do, but this, this particular board is allowing me to do that. Right, now I could do this, but there's value in opening this up. I'm trying to get a green here so I can do another stripe. All right, look at this. It's looking good. Okay, gonna make another stripe and set that up. There we go. So this idea of working on one side, I think is helpful. Because now I've got more real estate, more room open, so I can make more fun things happen. So we're going to blast through to the other side now. We're going to try to open up even more of this area. Until, oh, it looks like such a good plan, and then it doesn't work so well. Now I could do this and stay over here. But now I think is the time to work over here a bit, if I can. All right, this is better. So breaking up that stuff in the center. Yikes. I'm going to take that. Okay, well, here's the thing. If we look at trends, I'm doing better this time than I did last time. Is it perfect? No. Even though I feel like I got some really good moves. Yeah, I'm going to take that because taking out a color is usually really good at this point. Um, yeah, much better with this new strategy. So even though I didn't quite make it, because I, unless I get really good cascading, this isn't going to be sufficient. Even though I didn't quite make it, I got so much closer. So that's the strategy I'm going to keep employing. Now, if I get the opportunity to open up that stripe dispenser earlier, I will definitely take it. But I don't think that the board really allows that very often. So I'm going to pause, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off. But then once I solve this, I'll come back through and narrate for you. Tricky one. Thankfully, I got a bit of luck 
early on, it took between five and 10 tries. Notice how I'm staying on one side of the board. Now I'm making what I thought was going to be a stripe turned out to be a color bomb. And look at that color bomb wrapped. Now I'm going to risk it, even though it's dangerous. But where I'm risking it seems fairly good. And look at that set up a lot more purple now. I ended up exploding the top earlier than I expected. I was focusing on the bottom, but when you've got a color bomb wrapped combo, good things happen. Now I have 14 moves left and 12 jelly. It's not done yet. I have to now really be careful here. So what's going to cause the most damage? I think opening up those candy curls is going to be best. Everything is situated down at the bottom. I could make that wrapped, but then that wrapped would flow down to the to the base, and I might not be able to reach it. This looks like a better opportunity, and color bombs beget color bombs and other specials. I don't know that it's a good time to use that right now, though. Let's move this along. Here we go. Beautiful. And now, matching this with green seems to be the best choice, because it's going to hit that directly, and, of course, it's going to set off that wrapped candy, dropped into perfect position. So there, even though I struggled a while, I got some luck and was able to do it with eight moves remaining. That's how I beat this level. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. I do like the idea of working on the base and working on one side. That seems to help. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye.